Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Foreign Correspondent Club of uh, Japan. My name is uh, <clears throat> Pio D'Emilia. I'm uh, moderating today our uh, guest uh, speaker, uh, His Excellency Sabr uh, Yesimbekov, ambassador and plenipotentiary <coughs> of the Republic of Kazakhstan to Japan. <clears throat> Ambassador is not a newcomer in Japan. He speaks uh, fluently Japanese. He studied here in uh, his uh, first coming in Japan. And uh, this is his second assignment here in Japan. So he could do it this even in Japanese, but our, our uh, uh, tradition is to do it in, in English. So we'll do it in English. Um, as you know, the Kazakhstan has now Going, went a little bit out of the <coughs> uh, media, international media attention, but in the last weeks it was uh, top and breaking news for several days. Uh, luckily enough, uh, things uh, seems to be calmed down. It didn't develop into what many people thought it could uh, uh, inflame more. Uh, and uh, we are now very happy uh, to hear directly from uh, our guest, the ambassador, uh, what is uh, going on right now, what is the solution that the government has found, what happened with the Russian troops, and all the other questions that we will uh, have the chance to ask. So, um, Mr. Ambassador, um, please... Um, start your speech and may I remind everybody please to turn off your mobiles or put it into um, silent mode something like that okay thank you uh, dear friends uh, thank you for joining me here uh, let me start with a brief information on what's happened in Kazakhstan in the first week of uh, 2022. And then uh, I would propose to see the short documentary, just just a few minutes, uh, on, on, on the riots uh, that have uh, recently took place uh, in Kazakhstan. First of all, uh, as you all know, um, the protests uh, in Western Kazakhstan were of uh, the economic nature. Uh, on January 2nd, 2022, uh, several demonstrations took place uh, in the Western Kazakhstan. Uh, uh, there was a peaceful protest uh, 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 to reduce uh, the uh, liquefied gas um, prices. Uh, all the demands uh, expressed uh, by the citizen uh, during the special demonstration were heard and resolved uh, by the states. Uh, decisions were made to reduce gas prices and a moratorium imposed uh, on, on price increases for socially important food products, fuels, and uh, utilities. Uh, it is very important to note that there were no clashes at that time between the police forces and civilians the police did not use any force. Uh, all persons uh, detained uh, during that demonstration were released. Unfortunately, uh, peaceful demonstrations in Almaty, uh, it's a former capital, have been hijacked by terrorist groups uh, trained uh, outside the country, as we believe, and they seek to undermine law and order in the country. These criminal activities led to riots, robberies, rapes, and mass violence. Almaty was attacked uh, by well-trained armed groups and terrorists. They uh, destroyed administrative uh, buildings and military facilities, seized the airports, and took the hostages, uh, foreign passengers, and, uh, and cargo planes. This indicates a very high level of readiness and coordination of the actions of the criminals. On January 6, the President Tokayev ordered uh, to, to launch a counter-terrorism operation to deal with the national 
security threats to protect countries' sovereignty and integrity, protect people's beliefs and property of citizens. The President ordered law enforcement agencies to act promptly and without hesitation. Uh, due to sharp aggravation of the situation, uh, the President Takayev assumed the post of Chairman of Security Council of Kazakhstan, and then to prevent the social unrest, the, the President dissolved the government and declared a state of emergency. Unfortunately, there were human casualties, both among the law enforcement uh, uh, personnel and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, among the civil, civil population. It is a huge tragedy for all of us and for our entire people of Kazakhstan. Uh, now I uh, would ask you to, to see the video. <clears throat> I will comment on some 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 uh, some coverings. It's, uh, that was uh, on the on the on the on the third day uh, of the demonstrations in Almaty. This is Almaty, yeah. Yes, <coughs> this is Almaty. Brigade cars, this ambulance is in. This is the footage from uh, from uh, other city, I think uh, from Taldekurgan, it's a uh, Almaty region.
This is how the looting started just, uh, on the on the fourth day. Солдат что ли это? Just a military personnel was was beaten. Well, I think it's uh, I think it's enough. I think that that's more like two, three minutes. But uh, I'm ready to continue. So you can switch off. Okay. So uh, I'm from Almaty myself. So for me, of course, uh, that was a, uh, that's a big concern where where uh, my relatives were, and so because uh, there were no uh, no any connection with the for two days, no no connection with the with the telephone line or internet. So it's uh, of course a big pain for me myself just to see that kind of pictures. Uh, by the latest uh, data, 19 law enforcement officers were killed by the alleged uh, <laughs> protesters. Uh, and uh, by uh, this day, uh, 227 deaths has been confirmed, and uh, some of them include armed criminals involved uh, in the terrorist attack. More than 4,500 4, people in injured during the riots across the country. The number of civilian deaths uh, as, as a result of the unrest is still being calculated. Uh, and financial damage uh, as a result of looting and riots uh, is, uh, is estimated now more than $200 million and, st and still counting. Uh, in this situation, Kazakhstan was uh, compelled to seek help from the Collective Security Treaty Organization which has deployed a peacekeeping force, totally uh, approximately 2,500 uh, personnel to assist uh, in the stabilization of the situation. Uh, the legal framework for deployment of CSTO collective peacekeeping forces is based on the, on the certain articles, Article 2 and Number 4 of the Treaty on Collective Security and the Agreement of the Peacekeeping Activities and military assistance request by the President of Kazakhstan. Uh, the mandate of the peacekeepers included the guarding of strategic facilities and providing cover up for Kazakhstan forces. Uh, on January uh, 19, CSTO troops uh, completed the peacekeeping mission in Kazakhstan and uh, then left uh, left the territory of the country. And there is no uh, now any, uh, any foreign troops now uh, in Kazakhstan. So CSTO troops uh, stayed for one week. The help in, uh, in securing the, uh, the strategical assets, such as uh, 
power station, Baikonur space launch launching site, and uh, other uh, important uh, facilities. Uh, uh, I would say uh, again. I would like to. I would like to say that the uh, uh, all uh, all peace, peaceful protesters are not were not subject to any prosecution, and uh, in this difficult time, people of Kazakhstan have shown their unity. And citizens support the measures uh, taken by the president to try to restore peace. And we are defending our democracy and constitution from fundamentalists and terrorists. There are many lessons, uh, lessons to uh, learn. The tragic ev events in our country highlight the problems of democracy and human rights in a very new way. As stated by the President Takayev, only law and order can guarantee the well-being of all civilized states, including Kazakhstan. Uh, as Almaty tragedy demonstrates, violence and anarchy, unlawful actions of criminals and terrorists not only undermine the security of civilians, but also lead to violation of fundamental human rights. And there is a lot of work ahead and lessons to be learned from these tragic events. Uh, in these uh, difficult times, we expect our partners to support us. And uh, in the world with the new risks and challenges, this situation could take place anywhere. And I'm here to extend my gratitude for all, uh, uh, all these Japanese uh, institutions and, uh, and, uh, and government official and the corporate sector of Japan who expressed <coughs> condolences uh, to the embassy, uh, to the Kazakhstan embassy for the uh, victims of this uh, unrest. Uh, now the investigation is uh, under process. So we expect in just in the coming weeks, so the first results of this uh, investigations uh, will be then published and, uh, and I'll, I'll be happy to, to inform you about the first results of, uh, of such investigation. Uh, mm, on January 11, the, uh, the President Takayev uh, delivered an uh, address to the special session of the parliament. Uh, so the new government uh, was uh, appointed. Uh, uh, also, the president set a number of tasks for reforms of country law enforcement agencies to the new prime minister. All measures to reform and strengthen law enforcement agencies and the armed forces are aimed at protecting the population from uh, internal and uh, external threats. And, uh, uh, the president also emphasized the importance of, uh, of strengthening the border service and in intensifying work to, country, to, uh, to counter religious extremism. Uh, I would like to say that uh, democracy is a work in, in progress and we continue learning from that experience. We are defending our democracy and constitution from the radicals and terrorists. Kazakhstan remains committed to the protection of the fundamental human rights and freedoms. And we have a long way to building our state from scratch now. And we'll do all it takes to protect our democracy and our people from any unlawful interference, both at home and abroad. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, Ambassador. Um, before giving the uh, questions to the floor. Let me just make a short comment on the showing of these videos. Of course, this is the videos that you as representative of your government wants to show, but we are all aware of other videos where we saw the army and the police shooting uh, citizens. Now, 
you said that this was caused uh, by some extremist uh, that infiltrated whatever but uh, personally i wasn't there but I, I think that everybody may have doubts that those people were all terrorists those that i think there are 170 people all together that were killed uh, during those uh, uh, clashes mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us uh, if you see something wrong in the management of the public order. I mean, shooting uh, to your own people is not exactly what a democracy should do. Uh, that's a good question. So th th this is uh, that uh, I think um, all, the, all, the, all the people of Kazakhstan and of course the world community put that question to the, the uh, uh, to government and to and the were they so the actions of the of the government were were rightful rightful and to what extent they were let's say uh, right so I would say uh, uh, we need to clearly uh, distinguish uh, between the protesters and the uh, and, uh, and the terrorists. Uh, the terrorists were not speakers. Uh, they had a very clear plan yes. to, well, to act. Uh, they used their own means of communication, including uh, tank radios, including uh, mm, uh, other means of, uh, of communication, and uh, mm, uh, all the actions uh, indicate a well-prepared operation to carry out uh, uh, a coup d'etat. As you, as you, as I have mentioned, so the the peaceful demonstrations uh, have started in the Western Kazakhstan, and they were based on the uh, very rightful, let's, let's say, social demand, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and, uh, and uh, based on the outcry of the of the increase of the uh, of the liquid gas um, pricing. Yeah. Uh, different from, let's say, from what happened in Almaty. So the old protesters in the Western Kazakhstan has been very well structurally organized, led by the, let's say, uh, initiative, let's say, groups, uh, uh, based upon the, let's say, leaders from the industry, from the industries. I would say they, they were more uh, organized, and they didn't let the demonstrations turn into the right. riot. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened in the Western Kazakhstan, in the Northern Kazakhstan, and, uh, and uh, other big cities. And in all these places where demand has been answered, so the, the, demonstrates, uh, the demonstration has been peacefully dissolved in two days, because uh, all, the, all the demands has been then uh, 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 heard and <coughs> rightfully answered. But what happened? In Almaty, as I've said, so the the uh, uh, the demonstration uh, turned into the into the violence, and, uh, mm, and uh, as uh, you see, uh, so those uh, from the let, let's say demonstrators who had weapons, so uh, and if the, if if police see them on how. Would you react to that uh, that situation? Well, well, it's okay. I mean, uh, from our point of view of uh, Europeans, for example, uh, shooting on the people is uh, the very, very last uh, resort. But what I, when you said that an investigation is going on, you mean only the investigation against those that caused the violent clashes, or are you aware of any? public uh, investigation also of on those that gave specific orders to shoot i think the so i think the ongoing investigation will include the whole range of the all activities uh, during that day so including the police including the including the uh, let's say uh, action of the law enforcement uh, okay. mm, let's say representatives and here, I would like to I would like to say that, uh, uh, that we are not police state. I think this is very clear. So I, I think so. I, I want everybody to understand that uh, that very fact. But uh, 
Unfortunately, the, uh, this uh, well-staged and uh, clearly planned attack of terrorist group against government agencies and civilians was a real shock for the whole society, uh, which was not prepared at all for such a large scale aggravation <coughs> of, uh, of, the, of the events. I, uh, I emphasize that Kazakhstan faced the, the greatest shock in its, uh, in its, in its modern history. Uh, we have, there have been no such an attack in a such a scale in, in the entire post-Soviet, let's say, <laughs> uh, say, I mean, okay. uh, says. But uh, of course we need to thoroughly and deeply investigate what happened and draw serious lessons so that the tragedy does not happen again. We do not deny that the authorities themselves are to blame for uh, this situation. Corruption in law enforcement, ineffective uh, law enforcement, unfair distribution of economic benefits, unemployment, uh, poor social <laughs> protection okay. are all factors which led, led to this explosion of uh, discontent and aggression. Thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, start the questions from the floor. <coughs> Those are Please uh, state your name and affiliation if you have one. Thank you. Kobayashi Freelance. Uh, Your Excellency, welcome uh, here. We are very glad to welcome you here. Thank you. My question is on the stability of your country and the people. Your country is enormously rich in mineral resources. And for the uh, stability, for the, uh, for the people, how you are going to use these enormous resources? Sometimes you see the uh, enormous riches will become the source of conflict, confrontation. And to evade that, what kind of measures you are going to take? Thank you. <clears throat> this, uh, this is a very good question. As, uh, as I've said, uh, we all understand that there were some, let's say, uh, discrepancies in the distribution of the economic benefits. And this is exactly what the, what the President Takayev's reforms is, is uh, aimed for. As, uh, uh, as the President as President declared uh, in the beginning of uh, of this week, uh, the uh, let's say some some um, economic structural reforms and uh, and political uh, and political reforms are uh, subject to let's say further um, work, very quick work. Um, I would say, I would tell the President has uh, has declared the uh, the. Uh, um, uh, uh, that the new so-called uh, Kazakh Future Fund uh, will be then uh, opened with the all, let's say, uh, uh, mm, so the all, as you as you said, the mining companies and oil and gas uh, oil oil and gas companies should donate to that fund in order to restore the. Uh, uh, or what, what, what uh, has been damaged, and also this fund will be used for the, let's say, social, social demand of the people. Right today, the uh, well, the president has a, a big meeting with the with the Kazakh industrialists and uh, and bank representatives, where I, I think some measures of uh, this kind will be then uh, announced and done. To that respect, um, let's say the, so the big uh, Kazakh uh, mineral sector representatives has already started donating some of these, uh, let's say, big funds to, 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 to that entity. And I think uh, this is one of the reasons of, uh, uh, one of the examples on, uh, on how this, uh, this problem would be then addressed. And I think also there'll be some structural, uh, let's say, reform and decision on the on the very economic agenda, on how the government will uh, address the social and other demands of the society, and this is the core of the President Takayev's uh, reform, so-called hearing state. So I think uh, 
uh, we have to solve, uh, let's say, all these uh, uh, discrepancies which has been you know, done in the in the in the well before, and uh, it's a it's a good lesson for all of us. Thank you. Takeshi Kawasaki Freelancing. Um, uh, there is, um, according to foreign media, uh, international media, there is a strong uh, criticism on uh, former President Nazai Baev. Would you comment on that, please? I think I'm, uh, I'm based on the, so my, my conclusion is, is based not on the foreign media, uh, well, reports, but the but but the feeling of the of, but, but but the feelings uh, and uh, my my private feeling on the on the president Nazarbayev's uh, 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 let's say uh, uh, um, uh, actions and uh, what has been done and and what uh, has to be done, I would say. Uh, well, the president, uh, f first president, uh, Nazarbayev remains as a father of the Soviet, of the post-Soviet Kazakhstan uh, independence. This is uh, this is the true, and this is uh, 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 what everybody has to admit. Or what, uh, what, and we all uh, see what let's say uh, positive things has been done through let's say all these years of Kazakh independence especially in the 90s and the in the in the beginning of 2000 uh, i think that the judgment of the people should be based uh, on the on the real achievements and uh, and uh, and the judgment uh, of the people and the world community should be based on the let's say on the current on the current uh, um, lessons and the current investigation. So I think it's too far from to you know to blame the so the the people who blame the the first president what was has happened and uh, and uh, and uh, and to and to base uh, somebody's decision on what what has happened now. I mean, we should see the the results. We should see. I think time. We have to live through the, this, and I think the time would 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 tell us and show us what what has happened and what is the real place of the first president. <clears throat> I I would just say it's, you know my my private uh, let's say feeling about the, the president because I was I was born in the Soviet time and. Uh, and uh, and uh, I've I've been witnessing the, the the declaration of the of the new Kazakhstan in the 1991. Yeah. <clears throat> For me, so the well, the president Nazarbayev is a, is a is a very great person who who in fact opened the way for the Kazakhstan uh, development in a very hard time, I would say. Well, Nazarbayev, if I'm not wrong, uh, was also uh, part of the Soviet government to thinking of uh, Kazakhstan before. He was, So he, yeah. he's w one of the very few that, that uh, I think he's the last, inherited. Uh, <laughs> I think he's the last one in the, in the former Soviet says he's the last one who, yeah. who, who has all this non-disturbed line from exactly. this, of, of knowledge and uh, experience from the Soviet period until <clears> now. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yes, <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, may I remind you all, please, that it's okay to take pictures, although the pictures should be taken at the beginning, but please don't use f uh, flashes while the speaker is talking. You can choose. John Kempong. Thank you very much. My name is Matsuo from Gigi Press, Japanese Newswire Service. Uh, my question is, what is a terrorist? Because... Uh, for 30 years uh, from the independence, uh, we, I think most of Japanese uh, didn't, didn't hear uh, small rumors about the terrorists in Kazakhstan. 
uh, we, we, we think uh, in the Central Asia, uh, five countries uh, you have, uh, Tajikistan has a, a civil war, and the Kyrgyz has uh, several, uh, several uh, violences in the political scenes. But uh, Kazakhstan keeps uh, the peaceful society where uh, the terrorist war uh, in Kazakhstan, what purpose, uh, what purpose of, of <coughs> them? Uh, of course, the investigation now is going, but uh, you have some information. You, if you have some information, uh, please give us uh, some of that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Matsu. Uh, I think this is this is uh, exactly that question that that you know many Kazakhstanis are just uh, you know asking asking themselves uh, me uh, because uh, we, uh, as you rightly mentioned, we are the part of the Central Asia where where, where other 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 brotherly states uh, has experienced uh, in some forms uh, of uh, you know some 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 this kind of. Uh, of the of the events that uh, just happened uh, in Kazakhstan, in my view, you are not immune. Uh, you, you know, not any state uh, is uh, immune uh, against the let's say the, the 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 terrorism and the terror attacks. I myself, you know, do not know about any let's say uh, any. I have no information about what what where where this. Uh, well, terrorists, you know, they came from, but by the, let's say, by the first, first results of the investigation, some of the terrorists uh, was, was, uh, was from other states with the foreign passports. But I would say, as, um, as uh, our president stated, there were some, some indications that some of this uh, so-called terrorist group has been prepared and trained uh, in Kazakhstan. And the problem that the, but the, so the law enforcement uh, agency Especially the uh, the Committee for National Security, uh, former KGB. So they 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 even if they're aware of what was happening, so they they didn't inform in the right way the president. I think uh, this is uh, one of the reasons why the uh, the current let's say uh, officials of the of the state secured uh, secured uh, committee was okay. arrested. And put under uh, investigation, and this is uh, and the fact. Uh, I know this is this this is just you know uh, just you know, blows everybody's mind. So how could it be possible that just as we used to say un under nose of the government there were some 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 let's say groups military groups uh, training <coughs> and doing uh, and doing what? So, as a fact, uh, as you may know, so in in Almaty, so the mobs and uh, and the protesters, they seized uh, the armed, uh, let's say, armed uh, armed cell uh, of the of the Almaty State Security um, Committee, and it's, it's impossible. I myself served in the Soviet Army. I served in the border troops and the KGB. So I know what what <coughs> this arm, armed cell is look like. So it's a uh, it's just a, for, it's a fortress. You cannot easily go there and uh, and took the weapon. I mean, it's it's impossible practically. So uh, there are some. Let's say there were few. Uh, let's say uh, mm, uh, uh, let's say conclusions and the guests uh, in the in the in the Kazakh press, and even said by the Kazakh officials about the uh, about the treason. About some unlawful acts of the of the of the Kazakh law enforcement, uh, let's say representatives on the on the very high level, well, especially in Almaty. So now the investigation should 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 answer this. Um, may I just add in uh, the last mm -hmm. question? Uh, there were uh, reports that some of those people you are mentioning uh, could uh, come uh, from Syria. Do you? Can you confirm this? I'm not. Uh, I cannot confirm it uh, because uh, I have no. I have no any any any. Let's say data on th on that force. Thank you, Kaldun.
Thank you, Ambassador, for coming. My name is Khaldun Azhari. I'm a correspondent for Arab News Japan and uh, Arabic countries and Panorama News. My question is uh, about uh, any, uh, do you think there are any uh, international uh, movements or countries behind, uh, behind these uh, demonstrations or behind this uh, violence? And you mentioned the word uh, extremist. Could you please elaborate what you mean by extremists? And uh, you know there, there, were, there was Arab Spring in some Arab countries, including Syria, Libya, and Yemen, and uh, they turned uh, into uh, same like destruction. Mm -hmm. Do you think some uh, international forces or center want Kazakhstan to face the same uh, destiny? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, well, I will start from the end. So I, note, I don't think that, uh, let's, let's say, what happened uh, in Kazakhstan has a, some, let's say, has some developments in the way of what Arab Spring has, has, has showed all over the world. Only, only uh, but I think I see the one big similarity. So it's, uh, let's say, uh, the, the, mm, uh, as a as a base for uh, this unrest and, and for what what has happened, I would I would mention the unsolved the social issues. I think this this is true because the people will not go on street if they were happy. So I think that uh, uh, and I'm I'm pretty much sure and uh, I would defend it anywhere that people has right to express their uh, their opinion. And will, and uh, I think that's uh, and the people had right to go on streets. Of course, I mean this is what 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 government have stated. Whether the demonstration is peaceful, you know, nobody can 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 let's say uh, uh, can 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 go uh, against them. Well, especially the, on the government behalf, and this is what happened in Western Kazakhstan, where the demonstration were were, were peaceful with a certain let's say demands. I think there were no problem, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the government could only uh, could only welcome that that kind of dialogue. But what happened in Almaty and uh, and in other several cities, the mobs has 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 gained the gained the momentum, and they and they and they turned the let's say the uh, the you know the people's uh, let's take uh, let's say very natural. Uh, mm, dissatisfaction into the very cruel actions. <laughs> I mean, that's this is this is what uh, you know uh, can is easily happen in 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 in, uh, in in any states. So the I think uh, we should uh, learn that lesson and should answer that question: Why why the law enforcement uh, in Kazakhstan has missed that that very very uh, moment when it turned into 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 the very cruel and mob actions <laughs> and regarding terrorists uh, as you as you say i'm 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 here not using especially words like let's say uh, re religious extremists or islamic extremists uh, as a, as a, but uh, i i'm i'm far from i'm far from blaming that 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 let's say any any of the existing religious, uh, let's say, groups or, or terrorist groups in, in, in being involved in Kazakhstan events. Let's see, I would say extremists, in my, in my wording, extremists are people who, who um, act against the current political order in a, in a, in a, in a very frightening way, bearing weapon and killing other people. So this, what I call them extremists. Thank you. Uh, I have a question online by our board member, Ilgin Yurelmat from BBC World Turkish. Mr. Ambassador, due to ethnic and historical ties, Turkey was one of the first countries to support Kazakhstan when it declared independence yes. in 1901. In a joint statement last week, political parties in Turkey condemned violence in your country and asked for peace and stability in Central Asia. 
However, some people have criticized this statement for overlooking Kazakhstan human rights record, especially the heavy restrictions on freedom of assembly, speech, and religion, as well as jailing of journalists due to Turkey's ambition to become a political power in your region owing to good relationship with your country. What is your response to such criticism, criticism even from a friendly country like Turkey? So we uh, go back uh, to the definition of democracy. Of the democracy. <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm far from so being uh, being uh, being uh, a specialist uh, in the Kazakh-Turkish relations. Uh, I've been trained as a as a specialist in Kazakh Japan relation, but I, <laughs> but but whatever it takes, I would I would say that the Turkey as a brotherly state was uh, was the first to 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 um, uh, congratulate the Kazakhstan people uh, with the with the independence. So the our Turkish brothers uh, did it just in a in probably 13 minutes after. After, after the Kazakh parliament uh, declared that independence in 1991. So we've always been very uh, uh, thankful to, to the Turkey and the whole Turkic world, uh, world on this event. But uh, again, uh, uh, look, uh, I would probably, I would probably uh, turn to the example which uh, so our, our, our correspondent from Turkey would Turkey would uh, understand. If you have fire in the house, and if you have some, you know, if you see some, uh, and you and you try to, and you try to let's say, uh, deal with that fire, and and you see some looters in in your in your uh, apartment or home, you know, uh, trying to make fire more, what would you do? You will you you will just beat 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 him out of the house, whatever it, it means. Uh, and this is exactly what happened uh, in Kazakhstan, and this is exactly, I mean, what 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 any of us will do. So the well, the definition of democracy and the definition of uh, let's say mm, uh, the means, rightful or not rightful, in order to con to contain the peace. I mean, that's a that's a very 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 broad discussion. So I'm ready to discuss. Uh, with the journalists, who to put this question on the in in other way, just to having beer or or whatever it is, but uh, I think uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a government of Kazakhstan and the government and the and the and the and the people uh, uh, of the law enforcement uh, in in Almaty who actually been put on fire and uh, and who made that decision. Judging by the by the president board to stop the violence, I think this is the main thing. I have another couple of questions from uh, online. These questions come from uh, Giovanni Capanelli, who is uh, an advisor to your central uh, bank, actually, former ADB representative in uh, Astana. Um, two questions. The first one is. What is the government planning to do to restore investors' confidence? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's from a banker, so. <laughs> okay. uh, but the second one, maybe we start with the second one because it links with the last question. Will the announced political reform include the direct elections of local administrators? Yeah. This is a long mm -hmm. issue, talking about democracy. Mm -hmm. I have uh, uh, so because uh, I'm from the I'm from the corporate sector. Yeah. In fact, uh, I worked here as a, as a first as a first charge d'affaires of of Kazakhstan in the nineties, and then I've been asked to come back to Kazakhstan to join the corporate sector in the oil and gas development. So I I very much understand the 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 let's say the uh, uh, the. Um, uh, concern of the uh, of the of the corporate community and not corporate about the so about what what will happen with the with the investment or so so I can assure you that uh, and uh, and we received uh, the uh, well several statement of the Kazakhstan government that the we will still remain the let's say trustful uh, investment partner 
nobody uh, and nothing has changed uh, we will we will we will be then we will follow the international uh, let's say uh, agreement and the international co commercial let's say uh, mm, agreements with all uh, our partners so uh, nothing has changed and we are stuck to the let's say to our uh, preliminary let's say taking taking uh, 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 well duties uh, I mean uh, we 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 were still uh, uh, be uh, welcoming uh, all our international partners uh, to continue the let's say work uh, in Kazakhstan in corporate and government sector as um, as for the second question yes uh, uh, the political reforms this is uh, the uh, what um, is in the core of the of the president archives uh, let's say um, uh, program of reforms and one is uh, and one of this is the uh, is the let's say uh, democratic uh, democratically elected local government this is uh, the core issue and this is what uh, let's say uh, our country will do in the very nearest future but it 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 can be done in just in a in a in a in a in a very brief let's say moment I think by I think but uh, by the next election I think so the as a first step for, for the political reform and democratization the overall election the general election of the local governments would would be in place <clears throat> thank you very much any other question from the floor oh no uh, <coughs> the gentleman here thank you so much for your speech now Michi Nohara from NHK I have two a short question. The first one is about the diplomacy. I think the Russia play a law, some role or maybe important role during this riot. So do you think the importance, diplomatic importance of Russia will change after experience this riot in, between the relationship uh, with Kazakhstan? And the second question is about the uh, internal aspect of this unrest. If your analysis is correct and there was any intervention or uh, affect uh, influence from outside the country by such as terrorists or so, uh, even for them, it is not easy to intervene without any demand uh, or um, uh, someone's help from, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, inside the country. Mm -hmm. So what could be such if your uh, analysis is correct. Of, of course, it is under the investigation. Mm -hmm. What could be the uh, such internal aspect? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Good question. Thank you. By the way, yeah, uh, I think well, with the diplomatic efforts uh, on the diplomatic stuff, I think we uh, we are very grateful for all those neighboring countries who offered their help in 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 uh, in uh, uh, let's say helping Kazakhstan to deal with that situation. And uh, I, I think uh, Russian Federation as a as a good neighbor. First and uh, and the second as a as a member of collective security uh, uh, organization was the first to to offer uh, offer its help and uh, well I, I'm no specialist in the Russia let's say Kazakhstan relations uh, but uh, of course uh, right, to my own opinion Russia once again let's say uh, uh, proved uh, its uh, let's say strategic partnership role with Kazakhstan in, uh, in, uh, in helping uh, Kazakhstan within the security treaty uh, organization to deal with the, with the current situation. I think uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I think that's a true. About your second question, what, what uh, would be the, let's say, uh, uh, any, mm, well, tell me, am I right in, in understanding you? Would it be any influence uh, if Kazakhstan will find any international, let's say, uh, influence or international participation in Kazakhstan, in Kazakhstan events? I, I don't know. I mean, that's, I, well, I, 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 I will 
uh, I will I will wait for the investigation, of course. But uh, again, I would say uh, we we have received uh, um, all the support from the neighboring states uh, in 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 in, uh, in Kazakhstan, of Kazakhstan. We have received, uh, let's say, the good 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 words from our eastern neighbor, China. We we have received the the words of support from Turkey, from all the states. I think officially. So they were official position of officially, let's say, government that they are supporting Kazakhstan. If there will be any, let's say, indications that some of the, uh, let's say, uh, groups abroad has 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 participated uh, in in the in the Kazakhstan tragic events, I, I think then well the the government will, let's say, consult consultate with that 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 countries which would be probably involved in that in that <coughs> in that regard. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, maybe the last question there. <coughs> yes. We are running out of time, sir. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, I'm from Japanese newspaper, Asashi Shimbun. My, my name is Sato. Nice to meet you. And my question is uh, very brief. And uh, did you see um, any impact or damage to the uh, economic uh, relationship with Japan? Or uh, if you uh, saw such kind of damage, uh, how uh, you will restore the damage? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I, will, I was going to to talk about this. Uh, well, so as a as an ambassador of Kazakhstan to Japan, of course, I'm very aware of uh, of uh, of uh, let's say of uh, of what is happening. Uh, I mean. In general, in in uh, in the Kazakhstan-Japan relations, so uh, at the, I don't see any any let's say harm to uh, to to the economic relations uh, between Kazakhstan and Japan. Moreover, I would say that the uh, when the security forces, the rapid forces of the of the security treaty uh, organization were deployed. In Kazakhstan, some of the troops, uh, including including Kazakh troops, were stationed near the strategic uh, strategic objects of the of the of the Kazakhstan Japanese companies as well, including the uranium, uh, I would say, uh, mm, well, production facilities. So I, I mean, that's this 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 is a clear uh, example on how how uh, uh, important the the Let's say the relations and uh, and uh, uh, how responsible is uh, is the is the actions of the of the Kazakh government uh, uh, towards let's say our relations. So I don't see any 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 let's say uh, disturbances uh, in our relations uh, in both in economic and political ties. Moreover, I would say that next week we will have uh, the 30th anniversary. Of establishment of the Kazakh Japan diplomatic relations, I think we 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 all of course you know cherish this uh, cherish this good date and uh, and uh, I'm here to again uh, to stress you know, the all the efforts of the Japanese government and the Japanese people to to strengthen the 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 relations between two two states. Including the the humanitarian aspect, including the the economic issues and and political support from Japan to Kazakhstan through all these years. Thank you very much, Ambassador. We are, are now reaching the time. Let me. Uh, you have been very sincere, very frank with us today. Could I ask a, a very uh, direct question? I mean, in uh, Kazakhstan, the. Uh, institutional transition has been done already. It's done, we can say, from Nazarbayev to Tokayev. But the political one is already finished, the process. I mean, how much power does Nazarbayev still hold? If you get a phone call from him or from Tokayev, who would you follow? 
I would follow my president, okay. uh, Takaya Paku, because he is my president. He is the one who appointed me. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no. Tell the truth. I would say so. The as uh, as President Nazarbayev uh, was stated two days ago, he as a, he is now on a pension from the year 2019. He has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the current, let's say, uh, current, uh, let's say, power distribution in Kazakhstan. Even uh, you, know, you know, during these days, all what was left, uh, let, let's say, his chairmanship in the in the Security Council, Maybe. his uh, his chairmanship in the in the in the ruling party, has been all transferred to to the current president. So, in the broader terms, uh, uh, I think well, politically, uh, politically, it's uh, now 100 percent has been transferred to the. To, to the, the president, yeah. you speak very well Japanese. So could we define him uh, like uh, Yami Shogun? Mm, Yami Shogun, yes. <laughs> Yami Shogun, I say it. So I would say he made the so the president uh, Nazarbayev make the Amakudari now. So he's <laughs> he's uh, now having <coughs> good. Thank you very much. I wish him hopes. Thank you very much. Uh, what is this the situation for oh. the journalist going to Kazakhstan? There are some people who may want to go there. Is it uh, possible now I to think, have a visa? Uh, I think the Kazakhs are now uh, experience uh, is a spike in the Omicron. Uh, I mean, uh, so, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a record number of the people who has, uh, who has fall ill. I think in the coming, I think in the coming weeks, I think it'd be not, not, not probably, let's say, it's not impossible, but I think I would rather, I would rather stay uh, at home. It's not because of any unrest, no. You, know, you can travel you know, safely, and moreover, you don't need visas to go to Kazakhstan. But maybe now you need some probably papers uh, that, that from the health, health, health security organization, yeah, yeah. so far, so on. But uh, I think if, uh, if somebody of the, of the journalists want to, want to cover um, Kazakhstan, you are welcome. And uh, as, a, as, as an embassy, we will try to help you. Thank you very in, much. Uh, in getting. Ambassador, usually we give a, a membership, uh. Uh, honorary membership. But uh, the staff that uh, is issuing it this week is uh, in quarantine. OK. OK. I, so uh, we will <laughs> wait. Uh, Okay. And we will issue it at the embassy. No problem. Thank you, Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, then uh, I think it's a it's a it's a it's a tradition here to sign the guest book here. Yeah. So uh, when I was not prepared to, it, but uh, the uh, well the star has asked me to do this. So what I did, I I wrote the old Buddhist old Buddhist saying. It's uh, Goko Yama o Utsusu. If you know what it means, I would like so that's. This is very my hard feelings that the fools can move mountains. I think me is a fool here, so I'm, try I'm trying to fool this, uh, to push back these big mountains with the help of you and with, with the help of the Foreign Correspondent Club. Thank you very much, Ambassador. <laughs>